Miss Olaya Najide Olaya Ka and Independent Broadcaster. Well, I made the late Olubi Mida a day boy a fair some years back. I was actually an IT student with Lagos State Television then. I can say God sent him to find me daddy because I was sitting under the tree at the front of my office that day. You know, uh, this woman selling granite, so I wanted to buy granite. So I was chatting with the woman and he just came and he was coming from his program. And I said, come, do you work here? I said, no. That's how I'm an IT student. Are you related to it? Then Tonya Kimade? Oh, and Tonya Kimade was our head of presentation then at LTV. I said, no, because I'm not really related to her. But yeah, people do say we look alike. And I said, you're lying. Are you saying you are not a Kimade sister? I said, no, I'm not her sister. That's okay. Let's go to her room. I must find out. So we went to Auntie Tonya's office, and that was just how I met him. But well, we met that day, but I never had the intention of, you know, joining the Kadebe production. And uh, the day I was going, I'm going to the cartoon, I wanted to go and eat. So I, I just passed, you know, I passed towards um, Echo FM building. It was a car park. It was this corner with people. And he just saw me, come here, come, 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 come here. I will tell him, you see, I studio like Lush Jingo. I try fast. I didn't even know how to do Jingo, record Jingo and all that then. And I said, have you done it before? I said, no, I haven't done it before. Said, Are you sure? Do you know how to read Yoruba? Well, of course, I'm a Yoruba guy. I can read Yoruba very, very well. Are you fluent? I said, I'm very fluent in Yoruba language. Said, okay. Okay, he gave me a script, a drafted script of a jingle then. I think it was Ulu quality. So so he said I should read alongside um, Auntie Jumoke George. And I read it. said, Are you sure you've not done this before? I said, No. And so that was it. That was how I started. I was just how I met him. About a little bit of a buffet, it was a genius, an enigma, a disciplinaria. My mentor, and he was a nice man, though it does not take nonsense. As a mother can discover talent in you, and you just look at you and say, You can do this. And believe me, if you search yourself, you will find that inbuilt talent in you. They just sometimes when it talks, people say, Ah. You do see visions and all that, but it's just like that. It will just tell you, do you know you can do this? And if you truly look at yourself, you find out that you can do it. I have told you before, I never knew I could even do what I'm doing. I never believed I could do that. Yeah, I read my communication. I wanted to be a broadcaster, independent uh, presentation. He found me. He saw that in me. So he is this man. I don't even want to be using words for him. Is this man that God just used for people? People, some people say, ah, it doesn't take nonsense. And it's somebody that will want you to really sit down and be serious about whatever you're doing. Boye will never tolerate you not using your script, even when you're on program. It will tell you the advantage in script writing, which I am enjoying today. He was a good teacher. He was a good teacher. He was a good teacher. And it could be, it could be very, 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 very tough sometimes. Especially when you are close to him and you are supposed to know some things about him and you don't know it. And you are so, supposed to do some things and you are not doing it. And you will believe that ah, you know me. So why are you doing this? That you are doing it intentionally. So it could be very, very tough. So when he's angry, the best thing is for you not to just go near him. And when you know you've wronged him, just beg some people a beg, help me apologize, help me beg my friend. And he will listen. He was such a nice man. He was just such a, a caring and a, like a father to everybody. And he doesn't really say people are so okay, or share or Moshe like that. We eat together, we drink together, we do everything together. So he, we sit down, even when we go out, we'll say, okay, I don't share any and all that. He doesn't say this is on my own, Moshe and all that. So he was such a man. When he's sitting, you could just put your hand, you go, yeah, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. When he's drinking, so yeah, you know, so yeah, Moshe, let's share it. That was in the at the boy, yeah, he was such a good man. Boy, as being the debate had misses him his way of correcting us, his way of sharing experience with us, his way of interacting with us. You know, we 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 grew up as like one family, you know. And um professionally, I know that even if it's alive today, there are some things it will be correcting even in the industry in the association 
a lot is happening in Fiban today that people was alive we are not really, it's not as if we are not having issues then but you know people have issues and they settle it and everybody just move on and now we carry grudges a lot of rank call everywhere and it's like some people are not doing the right thing so i wish it was here just to look at the association because FIBA was not created for this purpose it's like we are not getting it again so i wish it was alive i wish it was alive and uh, i i do miss him i i, I wish he can just see me now i wonder am i really making him proud is there are some things we will have to correct in what i'm doing is there something you have to add to what i'm doing is there some things i'm doing professionally that i'm not supposed to be doing if he was to be alive i know he will do that so i miss all that about him